What's going on, Salt Strong family? It's Matt. Matt in the yak, and I got my... I don't know how many rods in the back. They're all back there. We are out here post-hurricane. We're going to see what the conditions are like, what these fish are doing out here. I really think that the name of the game is going to be find the bait. There's a lot of water out here, so I think uh, as long as we can find some bait, that food source out here, uh, I think we're going to be okay. The water temperature has dropped about six, seven, eight degrees because of this storm, so I'm hoping that that drop in water temperature is going to have these fish happy, but uh, we'll find out soon enough. You guys Stay tuned, fish bump. Your lady fish grabbed my line. Yeah, awesome. That worked itself out, but that wasn't what was originally after that. You know what I'm saying? Throw back in there. That was a redfish that swung the first time. What are you throwing? Get her walk. Nice. I'm throwing the salt strong moon walker. Yes, sir. Old red headed. You know, the love of my life is a redhead, so I figure it'd only be appropriate. There you go. There you go. There were a couple fish there. That's a trout you got on, but that was a redfish, it sounded like. It's a red. Oh, it is? Oh, two for one, two for one. Two fish at the same time? Let's go. Get them in. <laughs> awesome, dude. Dude, that's sick, man. That's the first time that's ever happened. It looked like there was a lot of bait moving through there. That's awesome, man. Two fish for one. Two little reds on single end lines, one on each hook. That's epic. You couldn't have really made that any better. That's pretty cool. And I got it on videos. We got proof it happened. Yeah, I really wanted some topwater eats. Got him. I'm on. That's a redfish. There we go. Had to lift that power pole trying to take me out. Oh yeah, nice fish. All right, on the clear wake bait too. Yeah, that's a good fish. There he is. Here we go. Got him. All right, good fish there y'all. That's what we after now. You with a good one too. Oh, he hit it right here. For those of you that were participating in our live Q&A, you got to see this happen in real time. I had a fish following the topwater and he just wouldn't commit, so I had to play him all the way to the boat and he finally committed. I have to, you know, things are going to change up in water temperature. I think this fish should be fired up and uh, it's going to be all about finding that bait, you know, a month ago. Come on. Next question from, uh, from Kevin. It also had a little bit of taste of disaster. The redfish ran right up under the kayak and got wrapped up in my pedal drive. I had to remain calm and relieve the tension from the line by opening my spool. And at that point, I could then work on trying to get my pedal drive out of the kayak to get the line undone. Finally, through some hard work, I was able to get that out of there, get that line untangled, and get that redfish landed. That's what happened there, man. Out on the water with a member testing some new gear out. We have that new wake bait coming out soon, and we were given that clear version a test, seeing if that would stand up to those fish out there. And as you guys saw, those fish were chewing. Now, one thing we learned after the hurricane is the bait was very displaced. It was hard to find a good solid grouping of that bait source, and thus it was kind of tough to find the fish that day. We were resilient. We found them targeting those creek mouths uh, on that outgoing tide, but uh, it just wasn't. Uh, a banner day for the five hours we were out there but sticking to those high probability zones points oyster bars and in front of creek mouths we were able to put some fish in the boat if you guys want more information on those tests that we were doing that's available to our members at saltstrong.com and they also get exclusive access to our smart fishing spots app if you guys want some more information on all of that make sure you check us out at saltstrong.com otherwise if you guys are interested in checking out the lures we were using on that trip make sure you check those out at fishstrong.com otherwise we appreciate you watching and we'll see you in the next video